Hey folks, I'm Renegade Knights, and welcome to The Walking Dead. I honestly love the episodes and the TV series, so I bought the game, played it, did all that crap, and now I'm going to do it again so that I can put it on YouTube. So, let's get to it. And yeah, that's my first one. So yeah, when episode 5 comes out, it's all going to be new to me again. But at the moment, I'm kind of familiar with it, even though I haven't played it in absolutely ages. And that is a very true statement that just came on the screen. Telltale Games presents... In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. It's such a great game. Episode 1, A New Day. There's our handsome, grizzled protagonist. Look at him. And those folks exchanging strange looks. How you doing? <laughs> well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Well, okay then. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now He's speeding. I, the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Well, I don't know. What's a 91V? I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making. You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Okay then. A real shame that is. Hello, yeah. police's mans. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Well, I've never heard this starting one. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Oh, disgruntled look out the you window. Know how I see it? It's sure. Yeah, that was a decent amount of cop sure. cars. <laughs> Very evil facial expression. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did. <sighs> that is not what I said. That was not an option. Huh, yeah. Riots. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right yeah. where you're sitting. Ah. And I'm sitting in it. Not cool, man. Not and cool. before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. You should probably That's keep your eyes proper. on the road, buddy. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops. And there you having go. exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? Man? <laughs> Not even close. Huh. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. That's kind of screwed up. He it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. 
I believe that would be what we call foreshadowing. And there's someone on the road, Mr. Officer. Bro, watch. Bro, watch out. Hold on, that's cool. I told you to look out! With like three seconds of notice. Could have gotten out of the way in that time. Oh, oh, yep, those are zombies. Those are zombies. Zombies. Yep, yep, there goes the cop. I think he just died. That, that's that's bad. That's bad. Uh, uh, oh shit! Thirsty. Yep, that'd be the first uh, thing I say when I realize I'm in handcuffs still. That I'm thirsty. Leg. Your leg looks very open, so very very open. Ah, heck up! Hey, hey, dude. hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Yeah, he doesn't look alright. Why the hell did he have his gun out? This shit got fucking hectic while you were knocked out. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! And there you have it. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag uh, myself out that window. You said that already. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's not that far of a fall considering how long the falling scene went for. Ooh, that didn't sound pretty. Suppose we'll go and check on Mr. Cop Man after his pretty bad looking state over there. Cop Man, are you alright? Cop Man. Look at shotgun. shotgun oh, thanks, I didn't realize that. Take your shotgun shell, I suppose. That didn't sound nice. Alrighty. Hop. Hop. Just a little limping like a boss. Officer? Officer? Yeah, I don't think he's listening. He's, he looks pretty fucked up. His leg kind of looks funny. Let's get us some keys. Not very good at this. That's one. That's two. Hooray, we're free. He sounds like a radio. Officer. Ah. Back off, bro. Back the fuck up, Jethro. That's what we call a zambi. Get away from me! Uh, yeah, fuck off, buddy. Shotgun. Go on, go on. Uh. Are you? Sir, you're not very good at reloading a shotgun. Go on. Uh, yeah, there you go. Don't make me do this. Yep, this is what you get for not fucking off. Yeah, fuck. That's better. Huh. Yeah. Hey, there's a person. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Yeah, that pretty hectic one by the looks of it. Why'd the music just get kind of bad? More zombies! Run, bro, run! Ah! Run! No, not trip on the dead guy's shoulder, I said run. Go! I believe in you. Wow, there's a lot of zombies in this forest. She's missing a bottom jaw. Um, dude, you should probably not trip over. Oh, there he goes again. Holy crap. There's a lot of zombies in that forest. Pop the fence like a boss. Well done. 
Oh, oh, that, yep, that's a male. He's just kind of headbutting the fence, trying to get in. Pew, 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 pew. Whoever was firing that gun just saved Mr. Protagonist's life. Hello? Anybody? Nah, no, there's no one here, Lee. Sorry. Yeah, that's his name. His name's Lee. Look no at Treehouse. Matter. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Yeah, I mean, trying to climb with that beast of a cut, you're going to have a pretty bad time. Anybody up there? Nope. Off we go. Go check inside, see what's going on in there. I wonder if anybody's home. Help! Help me, please. I'm I'm in pain. Go on. Go on, hobbles. Make your way over there. Good man. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's home. Let's just break and enter home invasion style. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I like that little touch at the end. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. No, I'm not. But someone got severely screwed up in here. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, I'm sure the coloring book isn't really that fruitful. <laughs> well done, buddy. Just slip in some blood. Alright, let's go check this sink. Open drawer. Is that toothpaste? Cup of water. My guy said he was thirsty. And he guzzled that down nice. Open cabinet. There is whatever the hell that is. Let's leave the kitchen and go check on the what's in the jigger. Use answering machine. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, Walkie he's talkie. not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Yeah, because Message missing out on spring break is such a catastrophe. Is oh my god, was finally. Dino I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the you calls get are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's a very sad message, and I just teleported like a boss to pick up that photo. Daddy? Huh? huh. Nah, I'm not daddy. Sorry. Hello? Hello. You need to be quiet. Hobble. Hobble. I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. Good. Yay. I'm gonna walk over here, I suppose. See what's going on. What's your what's name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents, Where young are your child? parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Well, knowing nothing about America, I have no idea if that's true. Are you safe, little child? Are you safe? 
climb outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's, That's smart. smart. Yeah, what he said. See? Can you see me? Hello, I can Tom. see you through the window. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, hit that bitch. Man, that looked painful. Leg it. Stop slipping on blood. Kick the fuck up. Nice. Just a swift kick to the head. And then trip over. Fuck off. Get your child. Assisteth me. Oh, this is going badly. Q. Lots of Q and then some E. Grab the hammer. Just slug this bitch. Die! You! Fucking! Bitch! Good. You won't be annoying me again. Oh, that looks hideous. Man. You said it, buddy. That was hectic. Hi there. Did you kill it? No, nah, it's just sleeping. Yeah, it's dead. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. Well, that's depressing. You know? Oh. Ah, oh, fine. Why do people always ring while I'm recording? Jeez. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. I will, because I am magnificent. What should we do now? We should look for help before it gets dark, because we why would you to want to be in the dark? Help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. And how do you know that, Let's young go. child? Stay close to me. <laughs> 